How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another MCC development update number three coming at you. It was just released up on Halo Waypoint so I thought I'd give you some heads up and go over some of the highlights of this detailed list of the updates going for the MCC. Talking about the first flight that's going to be coming for the Insider program so if you have not signed up for it well, you still have a chance to believe, but 13,000 people are currently signed up right now. So be part of the MCC program to fix this damn game. But here we go. We're going to go jump right into the content here. This first public flight will be stress testing the matchmaking in the MCC. In particular, it's going to be just a Halo 2 anniversary playlist playing just Team Slayer. The matches are going to be condensed down to five minutes long. And this is going to be more just testing out getting people in the game and connecting people into the next game. So it's not going to be really much about how long the game quality of the game lasts. They pretty much just testing how that well they can get you in and out of game. So now you're probably wondering, when do I get a chance to test out the MCC and its new matchmaking stress test awesomeness? Well, we don't know. Soon though, that's pretty much what the update said. People involved with the Insider program will be receiving an email giving you further details. So keep an eye on your inboxes, your spam boxes, and maybe your updates, whatever. Keep an eye on those inboxes, guys, because you'll begin an email letting you know the details of how to be part of the MCC program. And also, we'll have to let you know that currently not everyone is going to be involved with this stress test. It's really going to be just a select few amount of people. So the majority of people are, are, are actually going to be left out on this. Uh, but apparently, they've playing little favorites to people who've been playing the like MCC for the last six months. They've been keeping track of your games logged in. So no, it's, it's not going to help you out trying to, you know, cram in a bunch of games to try to get some prefer preferential treatment. Uh, it's gonna be, it says that it's going to put pro priority on players who've been playing MCC consistently for the last six months, but uh, at, the decision's kind of already been made who this is going out to. But also keep in mind for future flight tests, you won't be involved with that. Play the MCC. Playing the game will give you a better odds of getting involved with these stress tests. And also keep in mind, everyone who's involved with this program, that everything that's in the MCC right now is under NDA confidentiality. So we won't be able to talk about or stream, make videos, discuss, uh, talk about anything else besides what's publicly known about the stress test environment for the MCC Insider programming. So bummer. I'm not going to be able to give you guys any details because I am an insider program member but i uh, can't really give you any details about it and so that's a sh damn shame i at least can tell you i'm in it that's about it <laughs> and so for the first official update scope these are the few things that are going to be implemented into the mcc which is going to be the intelligent install which is basically meaning you can install one specific game you don't have to install all the games involved with the MCC. You can just download the Halo 3 or just Halo 2 or Halo 3 and Halo 4 if you want to do it like that. You know, you have a selection there so it doesn't take up so much hard drive on your Xbox. Obviously, the Xbox One visual enhancements, the HDR, SDR calibration settings. So basically, uh, for the Xbox One S, being able to have deeper, better contracts and colors, uh, better networking for matchmaking, obviously. P1 and P2 bugs mean P being priority. So to hopefully try to fix out the big issues happening with the MZC with the first update coming here. And lastly, UI and UX changes to better fit the new install format and changes that will be coming to the MCC as well. Now the update does continue on talking about a few specific changes that they're making and fixes that they're doing for the MCC. Like for one, changing the spawning system for Halo 2 because apparently it's based off a of Halo 2 Vista and that's not working out too well. Uh, they're also changing the tick rates of the dedicated servers from 30 to 60. So basically you should be experiencing much more fluid games that are much more up to date and you'd be less lag, better hit registration, just overall better performance in the game. So 60 hertz would be much appreciated, very much. <laughs> and of course you got your visual enhancements coming in as well. Also I'll put it up on the screen right here, some visual changes coming in for the UI. These are some just prototype Im uh, images that uh, 343 put up on their website showing that this is probably kind of close to what you'll be looking at when it comes to uh, the future UI of MCC. As you can tell, it's all divided out into which game first, and then you go on beyond that, and which I'm all for. That's going to be a great addition to the MCC. 
Other than that though, that's about everything when it comes to this update, at least all the highlights. I will link the full update in the description down below if you want to read all the nitty gritty details. But this is pretty much all the, the stuff you need to know kind of thing for the first public test update for the MCC. Again, check out your emails for uh, your email to let you know that you're accepted and you'll get all the nitty gritty details of how to take part in the stress test for the matchmaking coming into the Halo 5, Halo MCC update here. So if you like these kind of news videos, guys, and like to see more of them, make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel, helps the video get some more notoriety so other people get the chance to see what's coming for the Halo MCC updates. And if you're new to the channel, you can always tap subscribe with the notifications, let you know every time we're uploading anything awesome on this channel, which is, come on, it's every time. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.